man, I'm going to tell you, today's starting off to be very interesting. I'm almost nervous. Almost. I'm not nervous because I have faith, but I'm almost nervous. Let me tell you why. I called this uh, today. I, I put down in the description, uh, choose your words wisely. As I was getting up this morning, I'm not even going to start off with thinking chair because I didn't even get a chance to really sit down. But as I was starting off, this is the way today has started. Okay. And I, I don't even know if I was awake, but the word fortify came out. and fortify. When I think of fortify, I kept seeing myself. Well, let me tell you how this went. Uh, uh, the word fortify came up, right? And I imagined myself in my thought garden. I, I didn't don't have it on my table because it's big. I would have to clean everything off. And <clears throat> the big rocks that I have in there, uh, harmony. Let's see, I, I, I wrote them down. Uh, peace, balance, harmony, serenity, hope. My main rocks, faith. I imagine myself just putting them around me, fortifying, my, fortifying myself, right? And I was like, okay, well, I'll talk about that today. Good morning. So as I was saying, I'm going to talk about that. I could see myself putting more rocks down and more rocks down, fortifying myself, which was kind of like the, 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 mission for today and like I said I don't think I, I don't even think I was awake I think I was about to get up you know that little state where you hear things or you're, you're it's almost like a daydream but you're about to get up I don't know if that ever happens to you but but four or five kept coming up so as I was building my rocks around me I was preparing myself for the day and I was in prayer because I, I could feel myself in a state of prayer. Prayer is two-way communication between you and God. <clears throat> so I was in that mindset of, okay, I'm talking with God and he's telling me fortify. So that's what I was doing. And the bricks that I was adding on I had my main bricks, but my main rocks and the rocks that I was adding on to it was uh, love, strength, wisdom, uh, understanding, blessed. Um, and the last one, preparedness. I wanted to put those in there. And <clears throat> as I was putting those on, I was like, mm, I'm awake. I'm ready for the day. Let's get this thing started. So, as I was saying, that's before I got up. So now that I'm up, okay, first thing I usually do while I'm in the bed, when I get up, just go ahead and get my devotion. Devotion, uh, get the word in for me, into me for the day. <clears throat> so this is what came up. Uh, the devotion I'm reading is uh, Do Good to All Men. Unto all men. It's in um, you version. All right. This is a snippet of it. Okay. This I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but this is just the middle part of the devotion. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but uh, but that which is good to the use of edifying, which means to build up, that. It may minister in grace and unto its hearers. <clears throat> That's Ephesians 4.29. Alright. So, building up. Don't use, you know, corrupt communication, but build up others. So, I'm like, fortifying, build up. Okay. 
there's something going on here. The next part says, so words of, uh, let's say, yep. Yeah. So words of grace. So words of kindness. So words of wisdom of, un, into others. Now, my fain, my main bricks that I was adding was uh, love, wisdom, understanding. So now it's saying, so words of grace. So words of kindness. So words of wisdom in, uh, into others. Your words can build up or tear down. As John 6.63 says, he, it says, uh, it is the spirit that quickens. The flesh fortifieth, I mean, profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So speak life, choose to build up others with your words. <clears throat> so <clears throat> let me add this. Uh, the last part of it was choose to edify and build up one another. Let no corrupt or foul communication proceed from your mouth. Let your words minister to the heart of others. Consider your words before you speak. Choose your words wisely is where I got that. So uh, choose your words wisely. Why is that? Not only do you fortify yourself or you build yourself up, right? Right. Your words can also build others up. So as <clears throat> I was taking the word fortify for myself, a word for myself, a word from God, mm, fortify myself. I'm, I'm going to build myself up. I'm going to build this wall around me that's going to protect me. And it's going to uh, keep me uh if something happens today that's it, that's not going to go my way, which I am prepared for now. So as I was reading it and I was reading that, I mean, as I was reading the 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 devotion it's telling me that to build others up. So the fortifi fortification that I'm doing for myself, I have to do for you too. And uh, that's what really this relationship is about. You know, the Ichigo Ichie, which is our once in a lifetime meetings that we have. As we get to know one another, we build each other up. And yeah, I feel a little prepared or and I feel a little strength in the words that I chose for myself today, but uh, just think, I've only taken it so far, and you might have a word for me too. So you can build me up and add on to my fortification. As for me and for you, uh, I have love and kindness to sow into you too, and grace and blessings. Because you are special. You're not only special to me, but you're special to God too. And he wonderful, uh, fearfully and wonderfully made. And he cares for his kids, as I might say. But as we go throughout this day, just let your words that you've chose for yourself, choose your words wisely, that you've built yourself up. <clears throat> let, those, let those hold you. And not only hold you, but choose words for others to sow into them that they might have strength to, to carry on too. So you guys have a wonderful day today. Got my water. And as always, come pie. <laughs>